Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. That's a reference. It's a very old show, and I don't think I've actually even seen an entire episode. I think it's called Welcome Back Cart. Wait, is Welcome Back Carter or Welcome Back Cotter? Something like that. I think it's uh, maybe a 70s show. I tried to watch an episode once and I just I guess it has a type of comedy that has to be appreciated for being a different type of comedy I don't know there are some old shows that I like that I think are hilarious but that show is not one of them like for example I like WKRP in Cincinnati that freaking show is hilarious I love it warning Emergency power only. Oxygen oh, I... production offline. I was so proud of myself because I timed it so that I would stop speaking before the computer did, and then I went and spoke too soon. I'll figure it out one of these days. Power restored. All primary systems online. All right. So, I'm aware of the fact that there's still a new uh, communique. But I'm not going to check it yet because we haven't been to the previous one, which is leading us to uh, Life Pod number two. But before I hit Life Pod two, I want to go do this little experiment using. Oh, I was wondering in the last episode if by logging off and logging back on with fix this clipping and it's not. I think it's lagging me a bit too. So I wanted to try a little experiment. Oh my damage is 95. I guess I need to repair these two. And uh, what is that experiment you say? Oh wait I can't access. Oh I need to go back. Actually you know what? I don't think I need to activate one of the beacons. Uh, let me see, where am I? I think I know how to get there. So I've activated one of these drones, and I'm going to go over here down this deep ass cave that goes like straight down to where those, uh, I think they're called, uh, oh man, I can't remember, crab snakes. I don't remember and I never bothered to scan them. I'm only going by information that I read from one of the data downloads. So I want to go on one of these mushrooms, but not though. I don't want to go on one of these big ones where those giant worms were coming in and out of. Whoa. Why is it getting. It's getting really. Oh, because I'm on a drone and it's. This is by signal, so it's giving a false, it's giving the impression that I'm picking up a bad signal. Is it going to tear up? See? I want to go in there. I want to see what he's doing in there. And I don't want to die. So instead, I'm just going to wait for him to come out. Actually, the stalk looks quite large. I didn't really get a good look at the stock before when I was down here. But that's kind of freaky looking, actually. Looks very alien-like. Is he going to come out? Oh, there he is. There's his, there's his fangs just sticking out, barely. I'm not moving, by the way. I'm just sitting still. It's the mushroom that's sort of... There he goes. Does he not care about this drone? Oh, this is freaky. There's really nothing down here, though. Wait, what? What, what happened? What the hell? Am I banging into... Oh, I'm banging into the, to the top portions. Alright. Hey, is Life Pod 2 down here as well? One thing is I'm losing signal here. It's getting more difficult to see. So I need to be careful. It's going to be 
difficult to get out if I can't see very clearly. You know what, I think I'm just going to head out right now. Oh, is this one I missed? I think I missed this wreck. Or, I assume this is part of the, the Degasi ruins because I've never opened the container. Well, this is kind of handy to be able to use this drone, but I, I wish there wasn't an intentionally decayed visual as a result of using it. And I'm already kind of lost because I can't see clear enough to find the exit now. It seems like it's getting worse. Does that mean I'm getting further away? See what I mean? Okay, maybe this way. It's kind of painful watching this. I don't think this is the right way. Oh, actually, I think it's down and then up. Let's see. At least I don't have to worry about dying. What's the worst that could happen? Something destroys the drone? Oh, that's the purpose for creating more drones, I bet. In case something happens to this one or one of the two that I have. I don't even know if I've been here. Look, there's an uncut door. Let's see where we are. So this is dead west. Here's the stalker. Oh, wait. What? What the hell's going on? That freaking stalker just grabbed me? Ah. Oh. This, this is my drone, not yours. Oh, because it's like scrap metal to him, right? And they always like to play with the scrap metal. Okay, so dead west, about 313 meters away. There's a wreck with an uncut door. I'll probably forget that. And I'm not going to bother to write it down because I'm irresponsible. Might remember it though. Is that stalker following me? It's kind of cool though. I wonder... I wonder if I get the uh, static signal from going far away or just from going too deep. Let me do a little test. Since we're only eight minutes in here. Let me go towards the new location that I need to hit and just see what happens. Still have plenty of hole strength, have plenty of energy. Oh, this looks familiar. This was the location of uh, my base originally. Let's get close up now, these things. Oh, he's not bothered by the drones. He's not going to discharge. All right. It does seem to be getting staticky. It's definitely distance based, not just depth based. And I'm only 446 meters roughly. Oh, why is this rock floating all the way up? Oh, whoa. Look at how many... This is a lot of floaters. Why are there so many on this rock? And I don't remember... Unless that reef back turned into a rock. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what to think of that.
so apparently the scanner room has its own beacon identifier. So I could place a scanner room anywhere, theoretically. And then maybe I wouldn't suffer from the... Uh, from signal decay. Oh, he went inside and grabbed it. Can you believe it? All right, can, you can let go any time now. Oh, there's another one. Oh, now he's got me. These two stalkers are playing ball with this thing. All right, get out of here. You go back here. Maybe I need to bring some more scrap metal around and give them something to play with so they'll leave these things alone. All right. All right. That was fun. Really didn't find anything interesting. Now, it may be that I have to enter into those mushrooms myself in order to experience whatever it is that I'm supposed to experience. If there is anything there to experience, maybe the drone just won't cut it. Uh, actually, before I go, yeah, let me... I still have some supplies from the previous video when I built some new stuff. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I did not rebuild that first aid kit. Let me do that right now before I forget. I need a titanium. Um. Oh. Yep. Oh, maybe that's why I had the extra computer chip. I, I can't keep track anymore. Just, I just can't do it. Actually, I like to put my battery charger in this spot if I actually ever get it. I guess that's maybe too high. Maybe I'll maybe we'll put this over here. That seems like a good spot. And usually, in a situation like this, this is actually probably where the first aid kit would be anyway. Right next to the doorway or the hatch. Uh, no. I went over here above the trash compactor, whatever it's called. Trash can. Alright. This is not a building episode. This was the last, but this is just a little bit that was left over. Okay. Actually, I want to check when this water. Power has gone up slightly again. 53%. Wow, it really is a slow process. Alright. Eat. Let me store this quartz and this glass. I think these are both at 100%. Okay, that's good. I have more than enough first aid kits on me. I'm gonna grab, um, shoot. I should, I should make, I'll just bring warm water. You know what, I know this is gonna come back to bite me. Let me just go grab do I have some coral tube samples in here? Inactive again? Ugh. I do. Let me do this. You know what? I'm just going to... For now. Just so they don't run out of power. And uh, I forgot how to make bleach, salt, and coral too. Okay.
take two waters with me. I'm not going to bother with food because food decreases at a lot slower rate than um, water does. Water is usually the first issue. And, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me check something. Did I use my water, my emergency water? Just check real quick. I did. All right. All right, so let's do this. Put two bottles of water in there, emergency water. And I'll go back and get the other two. And now we have... Right. And so we once again have one in here. And uh, while I'm here... While I'm here... Camera drone one and two. Um, okay. That's weird. I don't see... Hmm. So does this mean I can't disable the scanner room? Well, that's annoying. Why don't I get a choice in whether or not I see it as a beacon, just like everything else? <gasps> All right, and away we go. All systems online. Wait, why is my camera? Those little fuckers, they, they took the drone off of the scanner room and they're over there fighting over it. <sighs> Look at them. They're just, they're just so happy right now. They have an actual ball shaped metal they can play with. Alright, I'll deal with that later. Let's go check this out. Oh, did you hear that? No, not that. The clicking. I've learned that... There he goes again. Let's see if we can move him a bit closer and hear what he's saying. I guess he left. I've learned their language. I'm going to talk to them so you can hear it. But they're quite elusive. You'll probably never see what is actually making that sound. But their conversations might amaze you. I swear I'm going to translate here for you one of these days. Not only that, but I'm going to talk back to them. You know what I just realized? This is 500 meters below, and I can only take this down 300 meters. Twenty percent charge here. Am I going to be able to? I may not be able to do this because I got to swim down two hundred meters and then resurface up two hundred meters to reach the sea moth to replenish my air tank. Now here's another sea moth fragment. What is this thing over right here? part of a wreck. I don't think I've been here. It's a door. Or a hatch, rather. What is this thing right here? That? Uh, actually, that looks like a scanner room. That looks like the top part of the scanner room. Just sorry, guys. I'm 
know. There's a door. Should I, should I check this out while I'm here? Might as well. Oh, I do move faster. I haven't really used the new fins yet. Poster. Oh, maybe I have been here. This looks familiar now. Well, no, because... Wait. Didn't I just open this? Oh, no, open that one. Never mind. No, I haven't been in here because... Otherwise, I would have re... Otherwise, those containers would have still been closed. Why did he just make that sound? Is it me grunting while trying to open the door? Oh, a door to cut. Laser cutter fragment. Alright, let's open this door. <laughs> We're back outside. That's the one I saw from the other side. Alright, can I close it? Keep the riffraff out. Cut this, go replenish my tank, and we'll come back and see what's inside. Thirty seconds. Definitely swimming faster. Boop. Um. Oh, modification station fragment. Looks like I have all of this stuff already. Oh, battery charger fragment. Yes, finally. New blueprint acquired. 20 years later. Huge. I expect there what was that? Something else. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to fill up on any more titanium for now because I don't know what I'm going to find at Life Pod Two. If I were a fish, I'd want to live in here. Be my little hermit fish spot. Super aggressive. I do not like them at all. What am I looking at over here? What is this thing? Oh, freaky. Oh, it's like. Oh, what are those things? Are those fi are those eggs? So it's the ancient floaters. Like little islands here, but they're under the water. 
Reminds me of the uh, Degasi Island, but just earlier versions, but they're connected by these roots. They look super cool. Curious about, um, curious about these things right here. What are these? Blood root. Oh, this whole thing is... Oh, pick up blood oil. Oh. New blueprint acquired. Takes up a lot of space. Oh, it's the same size, darn it. I think I've scanned this already. Like cradle something. Oh. Ooh, what are these little fish? Is this a new deep shroom? Near blueprint acquired. Interesting. So are those oh there's one of those guys again. Blood root. No assessment. Coiled root system where this root system breaks through into open water. Its ten tendrils coil around one another for enhanced structural integrity. Cave wall rooting. Where the root meets the cave wall, it penetrates into the rock and continues to grow, albeit at a slower rate. Both blood roots and blood vines produce blood oil pustules. Confirming that they are, in fact, one of the same floral species. The majority of the root system thrives within the rock itself, occasionally breaking to open water. Deep shroom. Can be processed into hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid. Okay. So it looks like you have some new shit. Hydrochloric acid. Salt in deep shroom. Benzene. That's from the blood oil that I grabbed. Oh, you need three of those to make one of benzene. Synthetic fiber. Okay. Got a couple of those left over from the time capsule. Hydrochloric acid and gold. Polyaniline. Polyaniline? I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know what it is. And it doesn't... Oh, high conductor polymer. And it looks like we have one other new blueprint. I want to make a freaking torpedo one of these days. For my sea moth. Pretty sure that's more powerful than a blade though. Oh yes, the battery charger. I can finally put my freaking battery charger up. After like 30 hours of gameplay later. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, where are we? It's all dark now. Um. Okay, so it should be this way. Oh, there it is. things going. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. So I'm trying to find this. Oh, damn it. There's freaking warpers over here. Hmm. 
All right. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Damn it. So this could be a problem if I get down there and I have a warper. Screwing with me and warping me around, like warping me even deeper, maybe when I'm trying to get back up for air. All right, this is going to be risky. I do have my rebreather and I do have faster fins, so I can get there down there faster than usual. So I do have that on my side. Let me drink some water. Let me drink some more water. I wish I could make these nutrient blocks. Fuck is that? Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, that that wasn't a reaper. I don't know what the fuck that was. But holy shit, I need to repair. The thing is down to twenty-nine percent. Repair tool. Almost lost my seam off. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, I'm having second thoughts now. Where did the thing go? Oh, is that it right there? What is that? It's not the electrical thing, is it? What is it? I can hardly tell. Oh! Oh! Okay. This thing was quite freaking scary. I, I don't know why I was just ignoring that weird ass screaming sound. I was just thinking about it and I was about to comment what's making that really creepy screaming sound. And it's like, oh, it's the thing right next to me that's trying to swallow the sea moth whole. Look at that thing. It's like partially translucent, but it's huge. It, it looks like it's I mean, it's probably a Leviathan class something. It definitely seems to be guarding this. If only I could... Where the hell did it just go? There it is. Um, hmm. I'm definitely having second thoughts now on life pod 2. I think I need to get the next upgrade. You know what? I think I can do the next upgrade now because I have the modification table. Let me see. Let me see how long has it been? 34 minutes. I don't know why I didn't think about this before I left. As long as I don't need more than one diamond or something weird that I don't even know about yet then I think I can do this I don't is that the same thing is that another one? Oh no that's those why is that thing glowing they never glowed before what the hell what the hell is on it I need to try to scan these things. Wait, I think I have scanned. Oh, there's another uh, alien vent over here. Oh, does it have that stuff on it? This is related to the alien vent, isn't it? Oh, man. See how easy it is to get distracted in this game? You have objectives, and then you see stuff, and you get distracted. I'm going to drop a beacon right here. Um, what did I name that? Ah, what is that?
Oh, it's one of those guys. Wait a minute. This sounds like screaming. Oh, nope, that's... What? Uh, I think it's another one of those other things. Is it just those? No, I don't think they make that sound. What the hell? Oh my god, there's a... There's a whole bunch of them over here. Alright. Can all you fish just leave me alone? I need to repair again. Okay, how close can I get without them taking bites of the sea moth? Maybe I should just swoop down and try to do it real quick. Actually, let me check. What did I name? What did I name the other one? Uh, I just put Alien Vent. Great, I should have put Alien Vent 1. I can't rename it from here, I guess. I have to be there in person. Why the... Is a freaking eclipse going on right now? Because it was just dark and it just got daylight. This world, man. See, these aren't glowing like the other one was. There was something up. These alien vents are having some type of an effect. Is he going to come all the way over here and mess with me? get this uh, beacon ready. I wish that thing would go away. You know what? I don't have to put the beacon right directly on top of it. I can just put it right here. Masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Really? So he's floated on the surface? What is this? It looks like some kind of long spire. Let me see if I can do something here. Let me see if I can push this. I can. Oh, Finally, an experiment that kind of worked. All right. See, we got the trailing... Look at all of these peepers here. And a lot of them have that trail... That green trail again. What is up with these alien vents? What is down here? There's something inside of here, huh? This isn't even that deep. That's on most of the surface. This looks rather wide, and this used to float somehow. More blood vine down here. Oh, wait a minute. Is this whole thing a giant floating island, but it's submerged? I wasn't looking at just a fragment, I was le looking at an entire. An entire system of once floating island. Very interesting. All right, well, I have a beacon here. Uh, look, there's that one again. That one is different. I, I really want to scan this guy. Don't kill me. 
really think this is important that I scan him. Freaking Seamoth. Okay. Must not panic. I can always swim to the surface and get air if I need to. I'm only 89 meters down below. Just calmly look around. It's right freaking there. Literally, I uh, was almost standing on it. Okay, I'm quite content that I got that scan. Oh. So this is no different than any of the others, I guess. It's just that I've never actually scanned one before. Bone Shark. Thickly armored. Assessment avoid may be distracted by light sources. Oh, I forgot. I can craft something that uh, gets the attention of fish. Can't remember what it's called now. By a light source. Like by a spotlight, for example, or maybe a floodlight. I can figure that out later, along with everything else in this game. Alien vent, right there. All kinds of deep dark secrets going on inside of there. I'm not going to have time to head back, but I think I might have time to upgrade the Seamoth. Oh, hello there, Reefbacks. You know, it occurred to me in the last video that I was addressing Frank, and I meant to say Ralph. You know, if I'm going to name these things, I should probably make an attempt to remember the names I give them. Let's see a barnacle there. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, that is a barnacle there. Um, should I... Let's just go check, check this real quick. Come on. Alright, screw it. I'm done. Tired of messing around? Welcome what aboard, if, Captain. Whatever is in there, I can get from just as easily from. I can barely see the school here. Blue background. Whatever is in there, I can get through a sandstone formation anyway. I can't believe I didn't make it to life pod 2. Seems to be quite a few hazards. There's a depth hazard. There's giant freaking Leviathan something that I have not scanned yet hazard. Seem very much interested in nibbling away on the sea moth. Got stalkers over here stealing my my drones. I'm going to have to deal with that, too. Can I just pick these up? <gasps> oh! Is that a freaking explosion? Or is that a thermal thing? I don't know, but look at this poor guy. I was just talking about him. And here he is. Oh, I feel bad. I should. I'm gonna try to get those right now. Uh, let me heal up. For, whoops. Let me heal up first. Oh, that, that was the wrong button. I'm getting low on food. Did this one just fall off? Oh no, that's the camera. Oh, I can pick them up. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Uh, 
Oh, this is gonna be. Another, another one of those blowy up fish getting all their attention too. Looks like there's at least three, possibly four left on here. Okay, come on, just gonna. <laughs> Damaging me. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Man, I would help if there weren't. Let me see if I can scare him. <laughs> there was something new there to scan, I noticed. Not hitting these guys at all. All right, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I could possibly do it if I didn't have like three of them to deal with. He's just gonna have to suffer some more. I wonder if this new knife does any more damage because it seems in the past I was never able to kill them uh, actually let me do this can I just drop this right here Okay, what am I looking for? I need Seamoth upgrades depth module mark two. I need the Seamoth depth module mark one, which I have. I need Plasteel. I think I happen to have one of those. I think. Magnetite times two, and I know I have enamel glass. Okay, maybe I don't have plasteel. What do I need to make plasteel? Oh, a titanium ingot and two lithium. Um, I even have enough titanium for. Um, let me put, oh my god, this thing is inactive again. This is, alright, this is becoming a burden now. To have to constantly put shit in here. I don't want the game to become about me just constantly having to worry if, whether or not there's power in the base. Because that's going to get real old real quick. I mean... Really? This is just a novelty to me. If I have to, I'll just I'll just rip that thing apart. I don't have to deal with it. The power issue anymore. Intake recommended.
Okay, five, six, whoops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'll make it first. Clear up space. Vital signs stabilizing. Got what I needed now for the plasteel titanium to two lithium. Man, I hardly have any lithium now, and that stuff isn't exactly plentiful, or at least it hasn't been so far in my experience. What did I need again? Tube magnetite. I think I have exactly one or tube magnetite in there. And I'm pretty sure that I had. Did I have it in here? Because it was related to glass. Enameled glass. Alright. Magnetite. Oh, I just have two. Barely going to make it. Huh? All right, here goes nothing. The other thing I can make. Oh, that's the Mark III, so it's even deeper. This is the Mark II. Took all my most valuable stuff. I hope it's worth it. I hope it doesn't just give us like 25 meters more. It's going to be annoying. So we had 300. Or we had a depth, a possible depth of 300 meters before damage. Oh, crushed up to now 500 meters. Let's just jump in real quick and take a look. 500. 500 it is. All right, that'll give us. That'll give us. That will get us to life pod too. Don't know what else is down there. It seemed like there are a lot of creatures in that area, probably guarding it. That'll be the next video. Attempt number two at life pod number two in the next video. I'm still alive. Feels like I've been the closest to death in this uh, this last trip, though. Maybe not. That's it for now. In the next video, I will attempt to get to life pod two a second time. See what's over there. Maybe something cool. Maybe just blueprints that I already have. But since it is so deep and so well protected, I'm guessing there's going to be something good there. We'll find out. See you then.